our YouTubers. I've been up the hills again. And I've had some nice contacts. I just read off. There's only a few call signs here. I spoke to Ian, Oscar Papa 115 in Swindon. There was uh, another couple of guys who I could hear. But I never got opportunity really to speak to them. Uh, Charlie Delta 172. Pete in Ipswich. He was coming through quite weak but workable. <clears throat> and I also spoke to Sugar Delta 204. Ron in Oxford. Now me and Ron had quite a chat. And Ron has actually left a comment on one of my videos, so he's found me already. Thanks for the chat, Ron. Brilliant stuff. Uh, sounding good on, I think, what was it? He was on a Kenwood or something. And uh, unfortunately, I cocked the video up. There was a couple of guys in Kent I spoke to. And I thought I'd paused the video, I stuck my phone down on the side, so a few minutes of it is just blank. I ain't even going to bother uploading that. It's sort of pushing me really towards getting something bigger and better. Even if it's an Antron, just on a short pole, you know, give it large proper. But my next video is going to be about earthing your station. And in that video will be a link to where I mix salt with fresh water where you see the resistance drop it'll all sort of tie up in the video incidentally if you watch some of my videos and, and, and I say there'll be a link in it if you don't see it if you're on a tablet or on your mobile it won't show up it only shows up on your desktop or laptop don't ask me why that is maybe one of you lot might better well on that but no, it was a good day on rig, well, three, four hours. And when I came back into Luton, there was two guys on the 1-9, locals. Uh, me, of course. And when I got in, I no sooner got in, my mate Paul rang me to say he's on the 1-9 chatting to him. So it's a little bit of activity, a little hot spot in Bedfordshire, which is good. So look out for the next video, uh, guys. I'm just going to go and find Ron's comment and comment back to him. But uh, sounding good, Ron. And cheers for the comments about the 3900. Nice. Oh, if don't stop watching. I've got to show you all something. Ron was going on about the Superstar 6900. Here it is. It's not connected properly. I'll just show you. You all know what it looks like. I did create a little bit of havoc today because I haven't got a frequency counter on my rig. I kept saying to someone, you know, go up one or down one or 10 kcs up or whatever. And Ron sort of, I ended up talking to Ron, he said, you don't do it like that, you do it like this. You know, which he was right. And I, But the thing is, I knew that. But the sun was out, I was on top of the hill and I was just giving it large, you know, enjoying myself. But me and Ron did have quite a chat. Ron's a nice guy. So there you go. Look out for the next video. All going well. It will be about station earthing. It will be more sort of the theory than sort of showing you what to do. And then maybe you can say, you can tell me what you've done to work for your station. All right. So thanks for watching. You know the routine. Like, comment, subscribe. If you know, obviously, if you want to. And listen out for me on the air, because at the minute I'm out there giving it large. Sooner or later, one of you guys is going to end up hearing me. And incidentally, Fred in the Shed, thanks for the shout out. You've got a brilliant channel there, mate. So, I like your editing as well. So, Fred in the Shed, how, how did you do all that like? I like that. Brilliant. Keep doing what you're doing, guys. I'll catch you all soon. Listen out for me.